Hello, today we'll be looking at um, the, uh, the copy if method from the C++ standard template library uh, as well as how you might go about um, uh, performing the same operation in the J uh, array programming language. Um, so for a bit of context, um, let's first look at the, um, the interface described by a CBP reference. Um, we can see that we'll be passing copy if um, the the first and last uh, elements of the range um, from which we're going to be copying the elements, um, where to place those elements, um, the execution policy, which uh, is not relevant to us right here, uh, and the predicate, uh, which we will use to determine which elements should be copied over. So if we look at this right here, um, we can imagine that uh, the array A is the element um, from which we are copying. Uh, and we would like to copy elements from A into the destination array C uh, based off of some predicate. Here I have a uh, filled with X's and Y's. And so for example, we can say, uh, we would like to copy elements from A um, if they are Y, like these elements here, and not if they are X. Um, so this predicate could be anything at all. Um, it could be you know all elements greater than five, for example, so let's say A is filled with random integers, um, and if those elements are greater than five, then we would like them copied into the output array. Um, so the way you might go about uh, performing this operation is uh, first applying the predicate, say greater than five, if these are all random integers, or um, equals y, if we're just looking at these x's and y's. Uh, we first create a bitmap, which is uh, described here by the array B. Um, so you can see, you could imagine us uh, scanning across A and writing to the corresponding element of B, um, say this is some temporary array, uh, a, a one value if, uh, if, if the, the source element meets the predicate given and a zero otherwise. The next, the next step would be to perform a prefix sum on the, uh, on the array B. And this will give us the index uh, one based, unfortunately, unless we'd like to look at an exclusive prefix scan, um, uh, into which uh, we should index into the destination array um, when we are performing the copy. So you can see here that um, we are scanning, or we are uh, performing a prefix sum scan across B to create this B prime array. Um, and so once we come across the first one, that gets summed into the running total. And then once we hit the next one, it is it is summed into the uh, into this other temporary array, or probably just into into B as well. Um, but we can go into a prefix sum more deeply in a later uh, video. Um, but you can see that if we subtract one from all of uh, the elements in B prime, which is the prefix summed bitmap, we get the in index into the destination array that we should be placing the elements. Um, so you can see here uh, we could check. Um, for each element of A up here at the top. Um, if the corresponding bitmap, uh, if the corresponding element in the bitmap is 1, then copy the element from A into the index described by the prefix summed bitmap, um, and we subtract 1, of course, here, and that gives us the index into the output array down here. So you can see if we continue, um, you know, we first check to see if the uh, the value at say this index in the bitmap is one or zero, and here we get a zero, so we don't do anything. We just continue, and we check again up here, and we see that we get another one. We get a hit in the bitmap, um, and because we get a hit in the bitmap, we will copy the value at the current element into the index described by the prefix sum bitmap. Here we have two. We subtract one because of um, zero-based indexing here, um, and we place our, our next element. And the reason this uh, this prefix sum is important is because we can perform the final copy step in parallel um, because we know that we'll never have um, two elements that need to be copied from the source array up top being copied into the same location in the destination array uh, described by the indices in B prime here. So we know that we can perform this whole step in parallel. Um, so if we go take a look at um, this, this J interpreter that I have here, 
let's create an example A array. Um, we'll start with, uh, say, 10 random elements in between, uh, in between uh, 1 and 10. And so here we have our array. Um, let's then create some predicate which we'll use to perform the copy of operation. Um, we'll call this predicate P. Uh, and we will say maybe for all elements uh, in A greater than 5, we want to copy these to the destination array. Um, so for example, let's, let's create, um, let's use something uh, here, the less than operator, so that we can apply uh, this operation to whatever is coming in on the right, which is the, the first argument in, in the J language. Uh, and we'll bind an argument to the left. So we'll just give this noun here, uh, just the constant 5. And the ampersand binds this uh, to the uh, operation given on the right. So whereas we previously used the less than operator as a dyadic operator, we are now binding a constant element to the, or a, a noun to the uh, left argument of this operator. Uh, which then allows us to use it uh, monadically, um, always comparing to five. So, for example, if we apply the predicate P to A, we get this bitmap, which we were looking at a minute ago. Um, and you can then see that if we perform the uh, prefix sum, which um, is given by performing a sum reduction on uh, the prefix elements of the input right here, um, let's, first, let's first perform P on A again. Uh, you can see that we get the prefix sum of um, uh, the bitmap that's given here. So if we look at, um, let's assign this to something. Let's say the prefix sum uh, is going to equal this. Let's take a look at the prefix sum. Um, and so here we have, um, for every element in the bitmap that's equal to 1, we will copy the corresponding value from A into the index given by the prefix sum bitmap, um, minus 1, of course. So we can probably do um, PS minus 1 and A, um, and then P applied to A. Oops. There we go. Okay, so for every element in the bitmap that is equal to 1, we will copy the corresponding element from A into the index given by um, into the get index given by uh, by the prefix sum bitmap minus 1. So you can see that we would copy uh, this element into the zeroth element of the output uh, into the output array, which makes sense. This is the first element that we've encountered that is uh, greater than 5. Um, then 2 is, of course, less than 5. And then 7, we get another number greater than 5. Uh, and this is, of course, the next time that we get a hit in our bitmap. So we copy it into the index given by the prefix sum bitmap um, minus 1, which is given here. So we will copy the, the output array will so far have 7, 7, and then we'll probably be 7, 6. Um, and so in order to perform that, uh, we have our, our predicate given here, and we can use this to compose our copy if algorithm. So let's make our copy if algorithm equal to, um, here we will apply the reversed count operator to our predicate. So I, I can explain this in a second. Um, but just to prove to ourselves that our output array will be 7, 7, 7, 6, like we expect, um, let's apply our copy if operator to the A input, um, and yeah, this is exactly what we expected. Uh, now the way that this works, um, this is called a, a hook in the J programming language, where we first apply um, the input uh, to copy if here, which is the uh, A input array. We first apply the predicate to it, which creates the bitmap up here. Um, and then after creating the bitmap, we will um, apply the reversed count operator to the original input. Um, so the count operator will apply, uh, will create um, a certain number of each value in the uh, right input um, based off of the values in the left input. So for example, we are creating um, in the output array zero elements of 
this element of the uh, A input array, and then one element of uh, this cell here. So you can see that we're just applying the copy if. Um, so now we have our, our copy if operator. We can create another input, um, let's say uh, 15 random numbers between uh, 1 and 100. Oops. That's what we're looking for. Um, so now we have uh, all of these numbers, and let's maybe set our predicate equals to, um, I don't know, maybe uh, um, let's, let's maybe stick with the same, maybe uh, for all elements greater than 50. So we can maybe do 50, and we'll bind that to the same operator as before. Um, and we will just recreate our count if oper or copy if operator. And now we can apply in the same way, and we would probably expect the output array to be uh, 93, 83, 91, 71, uh, 83, 83. So let's see if we get what we expect. Yep, there we go. So now we've, we've taken a look at the uh, copy if uh, algorithm from the uh, standard template library and how we might go about creating that in the jQuery language. Thanks, and uh, hope to see you in the next one.